So grateful, dear God, for bringing us here together in this place to worship you. Uh, Lord, uh, right now we are going to worship you with our substance, with our giving. Lord, may you receive this from our hearts and may you bless each and every one participating. And Lord, we, we just pray that you will feed us tonight with your word. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Please fill us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. God bless you as you give. Salamat sa Diyos, you are here tonight. Are you happy you're here tonight? Palihog, pikpik ka ang abaga sa imong tubad. Ing na ayaw pagkatog ha, kay magpretend niya ka nga nagampo man ko ba? Huwag mo ko matuog. Pero natuog dahi ka. Bible students, are you ready? Palihog dyan. 
Kunsa yung nakita niyo sa picture? Ah, Pag-anan man dayon. The topic tonight is in Genesis 28 verses 6 to 9 Kinsa ang giportray sa maong picture? I just need eight. Maogyod. Ito. 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 Babay, babay. Jacob, sir. Hala, kung ibling na ko niya. Basta ang abtika lagi. Basta ka ng quiz. Hundred, yun yung sila. Hinaot nga di mo mga upihan, exam. Manindog tang tanan, let's all open our Bible, Genesis 28 verses 6 to 9. Mubo running a verses of the Bible in Genesis 28. Let's all read together. Are you there? Say amen. Genesis 28 verse 6 to 9. Ready, go. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Panadaram to take him a wife from tents, and that as he blessed him, He gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. And that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother, and was nagan to Padanaram. And Esau, saying that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father, then went Esau unto Ismael, and took unto the wives which he had Mahalat, the daughter of Ismael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebahot, to be His wife. May God bless the reading of the word tonight. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Our loving Heavenly Father, once and again, we thank you for blessing us with church tonight. Thank you for the presence of each one. Thank you, Lord God, for great salvation. Thank you for Dr. Gisalba, his leadership in his church. We pray for those who are sick, Brother Jerry Go, and all the others, oh God, we cannot mention. But Father God, to your Son, Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, you are the great healer and the great helper of each one. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Thank you, Father, for this time of being together. Bless the message tonight. Bless your messenger. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please be seated. The life of Jacob is intertwined with the life of his older brother, Esau. Especially in early years of his life. While Jacob has his problems, he still made better choices. Than his brother Esau. Jacob has a better sense of value, an appreciation for spiritual things. He has a greater respect and reverence for those in authority, like that of his mother and father, and as a result, he made better choices than Esau. In contrast to this, Esau's life is a study on wrong choices in life. Have you tried that? You make wrong choices in, in, in decisions in life? It is important to focus on the choices and the life of Esau in order that we can learn some lessons to this verse in the Bible so that we can be aware that our choices can affect our lives. Yeah, what you are today is what you are tomorrow. What you do today is what you will be tomorrow. Now, Genesis 28.6 begins with three words. When Esau saw. Sa dihang kaning ato mga misionari, si Pastor Paul Tabanao, si kaning ato misionari sa Cambodia, when they saw the map, di ba, maka, there will be an, a, 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 like a trigger, like a makabliton ka something in, in, your, in your mind. Just like what happened to Genesis 28.6, when, begins with three words. When Esau saw, it makes a difference as to what we see. It makes a difference kung makakita ka. Di ba, Pastor Paul? It makes a difference when you are there. It makes a difference kung makakita ka sa mga panghitabo sa kinabuhi because it will make you something realize that this is something that needs to be avoided or needs to be accounted for or needs to be make a, a, a good decision. Sometimes atong mga kinabuhi nga moingon ta nga Ah, basta makakita lang ko, okay na na. Doon na yung sa kabata, bitaw nga, yung report siya siyang mama. Mama, buwan na yung kayo, gastuan ako. Sunod tuig. Ano naman doon? Kanang, kung mami, kanang, uh, tanaw akong grado ma. 
So kita no sa mga pangkarado, puro man pil, pil, pil. Ning unang mga bantong kurag yun, nga wala na ko'y gastuan. Tinood na ma, wala na ko'y gastuan yun. Kaya di na mga muskwila, sunod tuig. Ang mama nakakita nga puro pil, ningon siya, tinood dong, di na takapay skulawan. <laughs> Usahay ang ginikanan, mo feel proud, or dilis na mo feel proud, depende na. Liwat, ningon ng mama, liwat yun kasi yung mamahan dong. <laughs> When we see our situation, it makes a difference as to what other people can view in the same situation, the same circumstance, and see different things. So, what did Esau see? Why is this so important? What, well, what we see is what we focus on. Diba? What you see as what people do in the ministry is what you focus on. Kasagaran raba sa kanang mga anak sa pastor no, nikita na sila sa ilang papang lisura, eh, di lang kung magpastor eh. Ano nila mo? What they, what they see is that what they focus. Doon na bitaw sa kakabaw ang tawag is good ganiya. Nga ang kabaw padaganon, huwag yung makapadagan. Gikablit, gitik, huwag yun. May usah na hindi doon. Gitusok, huwag yung dagan. Pero doon ay usah ka member research. Yang yung hungan ng kabaw. Hingan yung kabaw. Kabaw, gusto ka mag-missionary. Dagan ng kabaw eh. What we see is what we focus on. What we focus on eventually determines how we feel and how, how we feel. The emotions that we allow to run through our hearts determines our thoughts. And our mindset, our, out of our mindset, focus our decisions in life. And our choices, our choices and decisions in life determine our destiny. Munang kung unsay mong choice ka karon that will determine your destiny. Kung pita, pag-graduate na ako sa high school, daghang kayo dito. Uh, I want to become a doctor someday. I want to become a, uh, a nurse someday. I want to go abroad someday. Ako, galibog ko. Saan ako ang guha ka? No? Ako lang ibutang dito. Ako lang ibutang. I want to be successful someday. Ano, buka kay ba? Maka-eskwila ka ba ko? Masa ko, makapasar ba ko? Sometimes, the decision... And you, what you see today is the destiny that you will be in the end. It is a big deal where we allow our eyes to rest because that is where we allow our minds to dwell. Our eyes are but gates to our minds. Pareha na mga kita kag inasal ba? Gagin ni mo dito pa tatumong sa airport. Inasal o, miyaw eh. Muna akong sudan rungod to. Katong muslim bitaw. Tingin mo yun mga kaong inasal o, baboy muslim no? Pagkabot dito sa karenderya, ningon siya nga, ningon nga amigo, hindi mo yung mukha ang baboy, brother. Di yun. Kining sudana, itudlo ba? Kung sa mani, uh, mantika sa buboy, utan ba? Kining sudana ang sunod, ah, kanding na, ah, mantika sa buboy, gigamit na. Pag sunod, manok, kung sa gigamit, mantika sa buboy, ah, di samot, di yung mukha ang nana, kay babu, buboy na. Pag sunod ang last, kay baboy man. Kung sa'yo mantika ni, bitchy di buluwil, ingon ng muslim. Halaki ni na lang. Kaya rin ingon mga, bitchy di buluwil, taon siya. Our eyes are but gaze to our minds, and our minds sway influence over our actions. Proverbs 23 verse 7, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. An example of this is Eve in the garden. As Eve focused upon what she was not allowed to have, what she did not possess, the one forbidden thing, it began to dominate her emotions and mind, resulting in a bad choice, a bad decision that altered her life permanently. Genesis 3, 6 reads, And when the woman saw... Ay num-num lang ko pag-interview ba ni Pastor Johnny Galera, katong Bible student mo graduate dire sa tubangan. Pangunta na siya, was Eve voluntarily, you know, tempted? Was Eve tempted voluntarily or by force? Ang Bible student, huwag katubag. Ingon ni Bible student, I have the answer, Pastor Johnny. What's your answer? Eve was tempted voluntarily. But by force. 
voluntary kay pero pero pugos na lang siya kay pugos pa siya sa sa kanang sa, sa, katong snake tong kuan ba and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat what's the point when the woman saw more gito that was the starting point how many times do we find ourselves dwelling upon what we do not have rather than what we possess ingon silingan ay rep palit ko grip sig di juga ka afford data data man monthly muslingan nakapalit og ah sana nang washing machine palit sa washing machine bisag bisag wa ka afford pi uman hangtod mun say na si muslingan mo imong sundon we would rather have something to possess and we we become guilty in the end because we can't really afford that one napugos lang ka kay imo man nakita si muslingan Today, let us consider what is also because what is also ultimately determine his future. One, is also and sees upon opportunity to gratify his flesh. Genesis 25, 29 to 34. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore, his name was called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at that point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? 33, And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Verse 34, When Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up, when his way does Esau despise his birthright. Now, what is the point? Esau's stomach was growling. It was crying out, for food. He was nowhere near to death, but the desire for his body for food, real, tinood. His appetite drove him to satisfy his desire, his demands, and the expense of sacrificing something precious, something of great value. What is that in life? As believers in Jesus Christ, we are all equipped with two sets of drives. The two sets of desires, one is holy, and one is unholy. One that is carnal and one that is Christ. And one, uh, the, uh, uh, the, one, the one that does not please God and the one that, that please God. The Apostle Paul ref refers to our two natures conflict as the old man and the new man. Ephesians 4, 22-34 That he put off concerning the former conversation with the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind 24, and that he put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. We are, we are, kita, it's responsible to encourage and feed the new man that is born of the Spirit. And starve or suppress the unregenerated old man which is our carnal flesh. The old man or flesh will tell us that we are going to die if we do not eat the bean of soap. Our new man, the Spirit, tells us that we have been saved from the bean soap. One bowl of bean soap leads to another, then another, then another. And time, it will explode. We have a problem. However, as we live in this fallen fleshly world system, every day we are surrounded with everything. When you go out, daghang mga butang yung makita, daghang mga things that it will entice your, 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 your eyes. Mabitang nalipay si uh, Pastor si Konbag, ito sa Sargao Island. Uh, Malasa. Nalipay, nalipay siya. Ay, ngon siya. Brad, salamat. Nagyug ko sa kong pananaw. Oh, nagka, nagkagamay. Siya nga naman, Brad. Di na ko kita. Nang, 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 nang bikini sa daan. Siya nga naman, Brad. Nakoy tumor sa brain. Nato si tumor. Ay, iyang tumor sa brain, maoy nakapagamay sa iyang pananaw. Every day. Pampo siya nga, ang tamayo kita ba? But the Lord was good. Kitagaan, somebody gave for an operation, pinigiyang gidawat ang kwarta, hiningon lang siya. Dadoon ko lang dito sa surigaw niya, magwalin lang ko, hantog ka matay yun. Huwag mo siya matay, hantog ka ron. That was over 20 years ago. What happened? It's a story of what miracle upon miracle 
kung do to a person, kung gamitong pagkas ginoo. As we live in this fallen fleshly world system, there are many things we see, commercials on television, things that will probably destroy or maybe uh, disturb. It could be money, it could be something, drugs, drinking, liquor, even sports. But if we neglect the Word of God, the voice of God's indwelling Holy Spirit and the church, if we ignore our spiritual man and the focus upon the message of this world, it will not be long before we begin to see this world in, full, to, in fulfilling the desires of our flesh. Our focus, if you're a Christian, must be on God and His Word. We must live in this world, but we must not be of this world. Nagpuyotas kalibutan, pero dili jug ka mo surrender sa sistemas kalibutan. And we had better not love it. Galatians 6, 7 to 8, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall also of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Klaro na ni Paul. One, Isaw so and seize upon opportunity to gratify his flesh. Ikaduha, isaw so upon the opportunity to rebel against God's authority. Genesis 26, 34-35, And Isaw was 40 years old when he took wife Judith, the daughter of Bert, the Hittite, and Bishimat, Bosmat, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, which were a grief of mine to Isaac and to Rebekah, Notice in Genesis 27, 46, and Rebecca said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of the of of Hit of if Jacob. Now, point is if Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Hit, such as this which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? When it came to consider taking a wife, Esau did not consult his parents. You have to consult your parents on the things, on the major decisions in life because you need counsel. Ikaw kung anak ka, you need counsel. But rather departed from the practice of parents and choose wives of the Canaanites. This action, the part of Esau, brought grief. Grief. Nabalaka, it's Isaac and Rebecca. Why? Because it is unequally yoked. The Hittites were not part of the people of God. They did not know and serve the God of Abraham. In fact, they were idol worshippers, as were, as were all the Canaanites. It is never God's will for Christians to knowingly marry a lost person. Namingon mang yung ka nga, ako lagi ng suliningan, maluas lagi na, manang, mamanay na akong nakita. Baling sa ta sa primerong punto, what, kung sa'yo mong nakita, mo yung mapukos yung mong nahuna, mo sa'yo mong ma-disney the Apostle Paul warns in 2 Corinthians 6, 14, 15, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had light with darkness? And what concord had Christ with Belial, or what part had he that believed with an un unfidel? Lisud ang darkness ang light, di ba gina mag magsagul? Tuma, nganuman ang disco, Nga naman ang mga nightclub, ngit-ngit. Haroon di makita ang mga, ang sinihan sa una, ngit-ngit man. Haroon di makita ang mga nagbuhat o malaw. Ay, nga naman, tagot-taguan man. Kabir-kabiran man. Daggo kayo ang mga, sana, put, o sa pana, mga jacket. Ngit-ngit. The more ngit-ngit niya, kanang, kanang bito ang mag kidlap kidlap Di yun na mo, inighayag ana, Makita na mong kangilad. If Esau had sought the advice, balik ta, and blessing of his parents, they would have protested his marrying among the Canaanites. If you remember, Esau's father Abraham sent his servant to find a wife among his people. Certainly, Esau knew that story. This was the, uh, the way the parents would have had. Esau's choice to marry against the advice and will of his parents was way of telling him of his rebellion. It was rebellion against parental authority. We also notice that Esau choose two wives which was willful violation of god's plan and pattern for marriage god's plan and pattern for marriage is one man for one woman for a lifetime 
Esau did not possess a Bible as we do. If you think about it, it was the olden times. The word of God was spoken at the time. However, Esau was not without the revelation of God. There was no nation Israel, no church at Esau's time, but he had a home. Unahon ani mo, may Bible, wala siya mabasa, but he had a home. Doon siya balay, doon siya parents, doon siya mama, doon siya papa, was placed there by God as a priest leading his family in the right paths. The choice of, the voice of God and the authority of God was in the home of Esau. And with his parents, when he opposed his parents, he was opposing literally to the, to the decision of God. Romans 13 tells us that all authority comes from God. Romans 13, 1, 2, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God, the powers that are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall recede to themselves damnation. The word powers used here in the Greek is exosia. It means authority. Parents are the ministers of God. They are to represent God. This, that is why parents are not to be abused their authority. Children are commanded to obey their parents. Remember, uh, young people tonight, if you are a rebel in the home against godly parents, you are, you are a rebel in total, in totality against God. Esau teaches us here that we cannot rebel against God and win. We, you may get it once, twice, but in the end, balik gihapong ka sa imong ginikanan. Ano naman, wa may pagbasol o kanang mag-una, kanang, kanang bitong risulta nga di mayo. Time will come the, that God will have His way in a way in your life. We will have the, he will have always the last say. One, is also and sees upon the opportunity to gratify his flesh. Two, is also and sees upon the opportunity to rebel against authority. Third, is also and sees upon the opportunity to get revenge. Revenge. Kanahang kita mo revenge, no? Labi nag ka ng kontra kayo ni mo? Ako bitang brother in dito sa Hong Kong ba? Wan siya ka ng waiter. Doon ay ka ng customer. Sige, hindi ka saba. Doon siya ang gibuhat. True story ni. Eh. Ngayon magtubig, didto niya ni kaw sa ni duro. Ang ginom taon sa customer, ang tubig ni kasan ni duro. Tungod siya ang kalagot. Pwede ka daga nang tinood eh. Kanang hotel nga mga first class. Ug imo nang bugal-bugalan ang mga waiter niya kasabaan ni mo. Ambot lang. Ikaw ra'y malkansi, hindi eh. Huwag ka kay bago. Kung sige, kung sige, gihatag ni mo. Doon na bitay sa ka-waiter, ano na kay customer ba? Kada good hagi sa waiter, iyag yung bangilan, iyag yung, iyag yung kan ba, iyag ka nang uh, patiran ba ang tiil, naman pandol tang waiter. Hangtod, kada yun na kaawan mo, gito yung buhaton. Mapandol yun ang waiter. Kung isa, bugol-bugol doon kayo ba, ka nang iyag yung, iyag yung buha, binuangan lang yung waiter. Tantag pila katuig, niingo ng mga customer. Waiter, dalay ragod, sukad karun. Dili na tika bugal-bugalan o binuangan. Ningon sa ng waiter. Sir, sukad, sukad ka ron, sir. Di na nakuludan ang pagkaon ni serve na kuni mo. <laughs> Kada din niya sirbi sa pagkaon, tukos yung kalagot, ludan. <laughs> Third, Esau saw and seized upon the opportunity to get revenge. 27, 41, 46, Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Esau hated Jacob. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, they, uh, they were told to Rebekah, and she sent and called Jacob, her younger, younger son, said to him, Behold, Thy brother Esau as touching thee, that comfort himself, purposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. And arise, flee thou to Laban, my brother to Haran, and tire with him a few days until thy brother's fury turn away. Until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which else thou hast done. To him, then I will send the fits thee from tents. Why should didn't be deprived also of you both in one day. It is obvious, obvious kayo that Esau 
choose to focus upon the offense of Jacob. Iyang gipokus bang ang 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 offense ba to Jacob? When he saw that Isaac blessed Jacob and not him, it seemed to him to be great injustice. So nauna na, dili man ni makaangayon. Tama na. Huwag din sa kalibutan. Tama na. Palitan na. Panahon na. Isaac chose the opportunity to get revenge rather than view it as an opportunity to accept the will of God in his life. Asa man yung una-unaon? Muribins ka? Una-unaon ni mo nga. That's another angle where God probably has a message to you. Usahin, nana, oy, kung di ka kristohano, na yung una-una, bawas juga, oy. Puslan mang ba nagmahal, may pang pamatyo na ko ni sila. Ano yung una-una ba? It is interesting to note in verse 42 that Esau drew comfort and consolation as he entertained the thought of killing his brother Jacob. It says, And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah, and she sent him and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, that comfort himself, purposing to kill thee. Kung masuko ka, di ba? Gusto nyo ka, patsyo nti ka ron. May pag... Saan, patsyunti ka or sa imong kalagot, inana, gina, masuko, kasuko, rasana ni mo. Pero ang mga ilunggo, hindi ko ang gani, usulti, may nga man, may pagali, dungga, bonti ka o anay. Manunggab na, hinay pa kayo masulti, dungga, bonti ka o anay, no? Manunggab na, hinay pa kayo masulti. Vengeance is so enticing, it offers us a sense of comfort. As we feed upon our anger, hate, bitterness, it is soothing. Revenge is over itself as a solution. Di ba, sa iyo, naunawan mo, muna yung solusyon sa akong problema. Bawas siya ko. Pero tanawa ang the other side, di ba ka mas grabe noon ang resulta? Revenge offers itself as a solution for them. Getting even seems to be A reward and our grief. We think we are treated unjustly. When we continually focus upon and feed our grievances, our hurts, they grow. And eventually, they will control you. It will control you in the end. Nga naman, because naan naman si mga nauna ang umubawas siya ka. Naan naman si mga nauna ang O Christ, o Pareha pa ni Pastor Tony Bispo ba nga kibato siya sa silingan? Dito na naman sa istorya ito niya a few years back. Nakasulti mo siya kong silingan. May pagmatay na akong silingan. Ay, simpang bato. Nadasmagan bita na pagsusimana. Lord, Lord, pasay lo ako, Lord. Habang ibeto akong wish good. Pat yun to, Lord. Ibeto ako. Ang namatay mo yun, Lord, no? Niingon pa siya. Namatay mo yun, ginoo, no? Di pa di ato akong wish. Mamatay ito siya. Ako lang itong una-una. Batong ko siya kong kasuko. Hehehe. What is that? It's because of your intuition that you you should you will take revenge. A wife who was very angry with with his husband, with her husband, na suko siya ng husband niya, ang 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 sakyanan ka ng BMW tungo siyang suko, di bubu ag pintal nga yun nag naguba na na bati ay ang auto. What is that? Because of revenge. Ang size on the peak of your revenge, on the peak of your anger, on the peak of your kanang kasuko, you land on a situation where you don't have a control anymore. Sa mong kinabuhi. Listen, we are never to give up in the passion of hate, bitterness, and revenge. No matter how justified we feel, getting even is never a solution because it is never satisfied. Did you come a satisfied ana in the end? It locks us into a cycle of revenge and vengeance and emotions that will destroy us in the end. There is freedom in forgiveness. There is freedom. Forgiving someone does not mean that we ignore what happened, but it sets us free from responding in a disastrous and dangerous ways to avenge ourselves. 
In Romans 12, 17 to 21, Recompense no, to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Be it, be it be possible as much as light unto you. Live peaceably with all men, with all people, probably. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if then I, mine enemy, hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt reap hills, uh, heap coals of fire. And he said, Be not overcome evil, but overcome evil with good. Taghang mga stories upon stories of people, even father against a daughter. Makita ni muda, daghang kayo sa mga even news just yesterday. What will happen to a daughter who has been raped several times? A father, it will create vengeance. It will create something uh, emotionally disturbing in life. It will create hate in the end. Do I have forgiven? I have hate my, my hated my uncle so much for for molesting me, for doing me such thing. But that woman became a Christian. I forgive him for doing that. Kinang lang yung mapasailo ka, ayaw pag uh, attitude nga, di ka mapasailo, doon na bitay, I don't know, kadungo mo, pasu dyan, yung pasagang story ito. Muna yung mga tawhana, nga di ko ka, di ko musugot nga, muatin sa kong lumganan, ha? Di butang pag yung silistahan. Di ako muna, namatay na, gilista pag yun. Muna yung mga tawhana, ay ni pa, ay ni pa atin na sa kong lumganan. Di ko gusto makakita nila. Di ako muna, patay na siya. Di butang pa dito. Di ko gusto makakita sa lung naong na patay na ko. Makita ko nila na naasa kong lumganan. Ah, Di ako muna. Even sa point siya, ang kamatay yun, gilip, buhata, pagkiglista. Ang bot baga ito, Pastor Johnny, tinuod baga ito. Pastor, ang pagkikuno. Sa Mindanao, ay doon, no, kinsa ito. Ha, takapagin ng Mindanao. <laughs> patay na no. <laughs> It's also an sense upon the opportunity to attempt, uh, to, 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 to get revenge, fourth and last. Last na ta. Is also and seize upon the opportunity to attempt to appease God and his parents. Genesis 28, 6-9, with Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob, sent him away to Panadaram to take him away, away from tents, and that as he blessed him, he gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. And that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Pada, Padanaram. And Esau sawing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father, then went Esau unto Ismail, and took upon unto the wives which he had na mahalat, the daughter of Ismail, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebahot, to be his wife. It is as if Esau sees and understands that he had made a mistake. His decision to marry the two wives of Canaan was wrong and has brought nothing but grip. Tanang grip. Kagool to his parents. It is an effort to get even standing with his parents and perhaps it's even regain his birth and blessing. Esau decides to take a third wife. This time, he chooses a woman a little closer what his parents could accept and get along with Esau. Finds a wife from the descendants of Ishmael. Abraham's son with Egyptian slave Hagar. This certainly is a better choice, but the covenant promise did not pass through the descendants of Ismael. Esau tries to do what God's people do in an attempt to gain favor. Kabantay ka sa usahin ng kinabuhi. You do something, una-una ni mo, you do something, you do something, I'll do something for the Lord. I'll just go to church so that I'll, I'll, I can gain, probably I can, I can gain some favor later on. Di ba? Una-una ni mo ba? Esau tries to do what God's people to do in an attempt to gain a favor from God. He will not do precisely what God requires, but something closer. Something like it. Parihoro mo na ba? Dala ko para na mabaptize, ba? Pangkuhan lang ba? Requirement. Ano ba? Closer. Something like it. He will not entirely give up the world and put God first in his life, but he will make a show. A pretense. Kanang pretensyos ba? In an effort to get what he wants. This happens all the time, all the time in our life. There are people who will turn over a new life over a period of time only to go back to their old paths as soon as they get what they want. 
Nung nung mong istorya ni uh, uh, Pastor Salba nga, na Christian siyang kalit nga naman, doon naman siya panglitawahan sa mga Christian. But when they get married, kasabahan na yung asawa. Sukad ka ron. Hindi na kung gusto mo simba ka niya. Sa mong pagtuo, tinuan, sayop na. Hmm. Ang bana pa yung sayop. <laughs> As they get what they want, they will just stray back to the old paths. Well, it did not work. Esau did not fool his parents. Wanya maila the parents or God. His actions did not begin his birthright or his blessing. Fellow Christians, motives means everything to God. He looks upon the heart. False profession of faith, insincere service, never fools God. If it is not real, it is not recognized. By God. If you rent a car, kung di ba kadaghang kayo mag-rent, I've been renting a car, mato sa gawas, sa US probably, mo rent man yun ka. When you return the car, kasagaran yun, and nag-return, mayroon ang owner, management, palihog, pwede wasingan, pilara, may lag na yun ay 10%, they would worry, or probably take care of the car. Nobody will do that because they do not own it. They do not own the car. Why would it bother doing it? Ah, di man ni ako. Nga naman, nalibihuan ko niya. Bahala nang sunod na niya. Bahala nang management na niya. Usahay, inanay mong attitude. Doon na bitay doon katawa. Nagsakay aeroplano. Pag-abot, ito sa panganon. Kayo lang kalit. Ang engine. Ingon, bye, bye, bye. Siko niya ba? Sitang buwa nga ba? Tanawas to. Nagkayo na yung atong aeroplano. Ingon na yung amigo. Mag-uol mang ka ba eh? Ano man? Di man ni Ato. The point is, they do not own it. The motivation of ownership is missing. Ang ownership ba missing? It is the same with how we treat our faith. If we treat faith with other with our other spiritual things, it as if it is a rented car. Murag labay lang ba? Ah, di bitaw niya ako. Nga naman, ako maling kuwan ba? Ako maling, ah, ah, ang timan nun. Then it becomes a false faith. It is just something to do, to use it at your convenience. Convenient lang ka ba? Para lang sa iyo mong convenience ba? However, when our faith becomes ours, when it is a part of us, we are motivated to treat it differently. Nga naman, we treat our faith with respect. It is no longer pretentious. Kaya hindi naka-pretentious ba? Tinudan na yun, nagyun niyo, ay kay, ang mga nagyun niyo, kung unsa ang mong namataan mo, sa di mong pakamat yan. It is precious because it is saving faith. Unsa may gibuhat sa kalibutan ka ron. They have faith. Doon na sila pagtuos. But destroying faith. They will be destroyed in the end. It is a, ours is a true faith. It is saving faith. It is faith that changes us When we are born again to the family of God, we receive a birthright as a children of God, and we should take good care of our birthright because, because just like Esau, kung ikaw careless ka, you will be throwing it away or exchanging it with just temporary things in this world. Ang imong birthright, ang imong nadawat ng kaluwasan, it's permanent. Hangtud sa kahangturan din na namawa. Esau din na nabda kain of faith that God wants. He thought that he could applause his parents and God by pretense. Pretentious. He was wrong also because Esau never repented of what he had done. He was too proud. Kung proud kay kalisud ng taong na pride, o'y pride chicken to admit that he made poor choices, eventually wrong decisions. Probably some of us Christians are like Esau. We see something, make a decision, made a wrong choice, and the choices were wrong. And then we are too proud to admit that we are 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 proud to admit But the, what does the verse uh, say, says in James 4, 6? He give it, brace, get more gra give it more grace, wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but give it grace to the humble. 
Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will free from, flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of God, and he shall lift you up. Kanang di ka mo humble, lisod kay paglip up ni mo eh. Mabitaw ng ang usahay sa ministry ba? Makita ko as we, I go along, kita ko, isang proud ko na nila. Ay, abig na nakadako, nagbuilding, na di naganahan mo, fellowship ni rin. Pero pag, so may naaanagod nga, kamay raman ng problema ha, good fellowship raman.